How do I learn neon? All right. I'll do this really fast for you guys. So the thing with neon, learning any song, for typically, typically any time you're learning a song, you want to get listenable. Now, the trick to getting listenable is you want to focus on groove over the, um, the whole playing element. This one typically kind of separates, like, it's hard to practice riff-based songs. So, like, that, getting that, um, sorry, let me turn this. So, typically, I, I'm actually playing it wrong. So, in case you're wondering, like, am I playing it right? No, I'm actually playing it wrong. But, because um, he has a crab claw method, which I haven't learned how to do yet. One day I will. I'll take the time to do it. But my goal is get the song listenable. I think people... Like guitarists get really caught up in playing the guitar part of, of Neon, um, but they forget that it's such a fantastic song lyrically and melodically, like you should learn how to do that first. Now, to get the song down, you know, if your goal is to sing and play this, your goal is going to be, is that. Get the key going. So you got when the sky blue gets dark enough to see the colors of the city lights. And then what you want to do is you want to practice a little bit of it. So you want to hear. When the sky blue, when the sky blue, when the sky blue, when the sky blue gets dark enough. If you can get that groove going, do it as slow as you want as well. When sky blue gets dark enough To see the colors of the city lights A trail of ruby, red and diamond white It's a like a sunrise So what you're doing is you're trying to learn to connect the chord changes with where the vocal is landing when the sky blue gets dark enough to see the colors of now and once you're getting that groove down and you're like connecting to you know obviously this thing i need to start looking at this one because i'm going to post this on youtube for you guys if you want and then once you've got that down and you're feeling quite comfortable with it then you need to just let your hand do its thing now this is where like practicing technique comes in so now is when you practice guitar. At this, until you hit this point, all you need to do is get like, okay, well, that's the first shape that he does. That's the next shape he does. That's the next shape he does. So once you get those shapes down, then you're practicing the rhythm with the singing. And then, and you don't need to be strict with these, um, these shapes. You just need to be like kind of close just because you you're trying to get the feel. Until you can get the feel of singing and getting these changes together, you will always sound shit. You will always sound like someone who either knows how to play the guitar part and then loses time because they're trying to sing, or you're going to sound like... Actually, that's just it. That's the, pretty much the only thing that will happen. It happens all the time. Guitar players will always... That's what I did. I did it all the time. All the time. I did the guitar playing first, and I was always like, why is this not connecting? It's because like, you've got to spend the time learning how to connect the vocal to the rhythm. And it's all about the vocal rhythm, and it's all about the, the guitar rhythm. Um, it's not actually about the guitar nailing this. Like, I could sing this whole song and fuck up the whole song. Are you ready? The sky blue gets dark enough To see the colors of the city lights A trail of ruby red and diamond white It's a like a sunrise She comes and goes and she comes and goes Like no one can Maybe when you do the like the outro, then it's like, oh shit, I fucked it up. But you can see how the vocal rhythm is not predicated on you nailing the guitar part. The vocal rhythm is the vocal rhythm. And you just need to get the chords to connect with that vocal rhythm. And if you can do that, we're winning. So if you're watching on YouTube and TikTok and uh, with YouTube, Twitch and Facebook, I'm looking at my TikTok screen because we've got questions from TikTok. So hopefully that helps. So once you've got that, the vocal rhythm and the chord rhythm together, then you grab the guitar part and then you start only at that point, you start making it fit in. And once you, what you do is you practice the guitar part. So you practice the guitar part on it.
or whatever you like to do and however you nail it if you nail his exact one you're you're an amazing person and i don't know how to do it but once you nail whatever guitar system that you have then you go back to the singing and playing and you forget that and you just let muscle memory do its thing and you will make lots of mistakes at the beginning and then you go back to your practice session which is practicing getting it tight and then you forget it and you practice getting it tight and then you forget it and you practice getting tight and forget it and eventually you will learn to lift the guitar part with the singing and then that's when you're tight that's when you're like i've got this and that's when you can do that and skypo gets dark and i see the colors of the city lights and um because i'm just following a muscle memory response um that's all that john mayer does as well like he, you can even hear him when he plays it he does it like that but he does like a really cool little groove so but i don't know how to do it yet i have to practice it i'll learn it but anyway hopefully that helps for anyone who's interested in learning neon and uh giving that a good crack I'm 